I am a member of the faithful remnant church of these end times. We are led by Pope Peter, the last and true Pope of this era, also called as Petrus Romanus, who along with his wife Mary Romanus are the two witnesses spoken about in the book of Revelations chapter 11. This video message is titled, Be Ready Before the Passover. And this is especially for those outside the members of the faithful remnant who are clinging on to their prestige, position and power, preparing to live for another hundred years. Death has already come to the world in so many ways and you are all dead as you have all received the mark of the beast and some of you even the mark of Cain. You can walk around deceiving yourself, ignoring all those truths that is revealed in the testimony of the two witnesses. I will begin with a reading from the book of Exodus. Then Moses called all the elders of Israel and said to them, Select lambs for yourselves according to your families and kill the Passover lamb. Take a bunch of hyssop and dip it in the blood which is in the basin and touch the lintel and the two doorposts with the blood which is in the basin. And none of you shall go out of the door of this house until the morning. For the Lord will pass through to slay the Egyptians. And when he sees the blood on the lintel and on the two doorposts, the Lord will pass over the door and will not allow the destroyer to enter your houses to slay you. At midnight, the Lord struck all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sat on his throne, to the firstborn of the captive who was in the dungeon, and all the firstborn of the cattle. And Pharaoh rose up in the night, he and all his servants and all the Egyptians, and there was a great cry in Egypt, for there was not a house where one was not dead. On September 24, 2012, Jesus Christ, the Most High True God, revealed through his two witnesses, and he has given the world the antidote to escape the Passover in these end times. Jesus said, and I quote, The blood sprinkled on the doorposts of the Israelites and some Egyptians symbolizes their desire for death to pass over them. Now the lamb's blood also symbolizes my certain sacrifice on the cross for souls. Now did everyone sprinkle blood on their doorposts, my children? Was everyone saved when I sent the angel of death to take the firstborn of the Egyptians and of the Israelites who did not have my blood sprinkled on their doorposts? What this means is that people must desire repentance from their hearts in order to be cleansed of their sins. Now I have told you the difference between a false sinner and a true sinner. And remember, a true sinner acknowledges their sins and desires to stop so that they do not experience eternal death. But false sinners keep on sinning, saying they are weak. And the second part of what I have not told you, my children, is that they say to themselves very confidently, I will understand because I am human too. But what they so purposely forget is that I never committed a single sin against my father in heaven or against neighbor. People would just like to bring me down to their level and current way of thinking. But this is not at all what I expect from my followers. On the contrary, it is what I expect from my enemies. People do not realize that to become an enemy of the Most High True God is a very bad career decision. They do not realize that to get to heaven, they must appeal to my mercy. They must do what I ask of them and not on their terms. Do you think death would have passed over the Israelites if they decided to sprinkle lamb's blood upon themselves and their children? Would I have responded the same way 
than if they did obey my words? Would they have gotten to safety from the Egyptians if they took my words and did their own thing with them? Not in the least. I would have treated them the same as all the other Egyptians whose firstborn were killed. Are you seeing a parallel now, my children, between now and the time of the Israelites versus the Egyptians? What had come to Egypt was the end and the beginning of their sorrows. What has come to the earth through the radioactive dust particles floating in the atmosphere and over, over the world is the equivalent. But the plagues, they came in a different order this time. For the worst of them is about to begin with rapid mutations and growths all over the face of the earth. It doesn't look like anything has started now, my children, but you will witness the death that has come to the world, which no one can escape without true repentance from their hearts. So, blessed holy water is what you need to escape this Passover which you will only receive after you repent wholeheartedly in sackcloth and in ashes. Well, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Queen of Heaven, has given a warning message through the two witnesses on the 7th of March this year, 2016. I quote her words. Time is ticking. The hand of God the Almighty and Eternal Father in Heaven is about to come down upon the earth once again. For the spiritual and physical realities are intertwined, as is written in my son's testimony. And so all of you are experiencing spiritual desolation and destruction. But because of your hardened hearts, physical catastrophes are coming next. It has been declared, it shall come to pass. Become a member of the faithful remnant church and escape the most high true God, the eternal father in heaven's just wrath. If you will not become a member out of love, then become a member out of fear. For fear of your creator is the beginning of wisdom. 